Now I'm going to add a product that has options in it. What are options? Well, when you when you sell a product that is universal, but it has different color options in this example, we would list them under options so we can have a single page in the website with the drop-down box listing the options. Here we are selling an underbody neon kit. So we're going to go into applications and we're going to select options. So under options we have a title and the choices within that title. So we're going to go ahead, press new, and we're going to put the title is color. And if you want to put any notes, what this title means, you could, you don't have to. You can also specify if you want it to be in a drop down, radio buttons, or put a custom text below it. Now we have option title called color. So what are the different types of color? So this is going to be the choice. First choice, we're going to put blue. We're going to put a part number for blue. We can put the manufacturer part number if it's different from the regular part number. Any notes if you want to. You can say if you want this to be the default choice or not. Then you would select the price. If you want you can use the prefill function which is going to ask you if you want the jobber to be a percent off of Mr. P for example. And then you can say the web price you want you know, zero percent of jobber and if you, and what the cost is could be uh, 35 percent of jobber then you would select the dimensions of the product and once you fill that out you can just simply click on the arrow which is going to copy the shipping dimensions this button is a copy button so it's going to insert the previous dimensions if you keep on adding more choices then you would add a image to this particular part by selecting the name you can either browse it from your desktop or download it from the web it will automatically resize it for you and you would click save now you have a shortcut here you can either duplicate the option so you can list completely everything the same as you have it so it would copy the option as well as the choices or you can just duplicate the choice so you don't have to re-enter everything all over again so because we have more than one color, we would simply click duplicate. It's going to save all of our pricing and dimensions, and we simply have to enter the name and the part number of our choice. So I went ahead and I put red and the part number, and I would click save. And now I have the primary part with the two choices uh, saved in Shopping Cart Leave. So if you have more than one option, you simply click new. You create a new title and then you create more choices. So if you have clothing, for example, and you have different size and different color, you would have two different options with different choices. Now to get into the advanced features, you can also attach a product. So for example, let's say you want to give a, out a free product if you buy this particular part. So you would go to search you would search for the product that you want to sell and you would say free of charge. If you want to charge for that product, you simply don't check mark this button and you leave this product alone. So what would happen is once the person would select this item, they would have a choice to buy the other product. So for example, if you're selling a air intake and you want to sell them the cleaner kit immediately, you can add the cleaner kit as a separate product on your website and then attach it to this product so it will be calculated in the shopping cart as a completely separate product but it would be offered here as if it's the same product and if you want to give it away free of charge you simply click on the button the parent option choice is made for driving the price so let me use a scenario let's say you have five different options here but only one of them holds the part number and only one of them holds the price because you cannot have a product with five different options and each option holding its price because this goes in order so for example we have a different glow color and then we have a different size the glow color is the one that drives the price and the part number while the size we just need to know that as an option to understand what we need to send out to this customer so the way we would do that is we would have 
glow color, let's say, as the first option and size as the second option. But sometimes you need to have color as the last option and size as the first option. So in that case, in Shopping Cart Elite, you would say that the parent option choice is this particular one. So you can have it in any uh, order, so you can have it as the first choice, as the last choice, but it doesn't matter what the customer selects, this particular one is going to drive the price. It's sort of like the final price is based on this option. You usually will not need to use this unless you have a really complicated product you're selling. If you notice on top, we also have an error button. If you click on the error button, it will tell you all of the errors that you have on your product. And if you click on it, it actually highlights the area which you need to fix before uploading the product to the server.